Good morning to you. This is Pastor Farrow, and I'm here in the church office, and I'm enjoying this sunlight that's coming through the window here in the office on this chilly November, late November morning. And I'm just taking a moment, praying ahead about the services this week. Advent 1, we will be observing this weekend here Saturday, 5 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m. This is the first weekend of Advent, and, and there will be plenty of, of blue. Uh, that is the color of Advent, and the sanctuary will be decorated with blue. One of the scriptures reminded me, um, First Thessalonians in our lectionary this week, reminded me of the importance of praying for each other. Um, Paul tells us to pray earnestly for each other. And you know, sometimes in our busyness, it, it, it is hard to remember to pray for one another. And, and we may need some reminders along the way. And um, we may need some spiritual disciplines to help us uh, to count the blessings that we have in our life and to count those ways in which we can pray for each other. One little spiritual discipline that I like to use, I like to use marbles. Um, possibly some people think I may have lost my marbles along the way somewhere. Well, I find them every once in a while. And I have this beautiful blue container with these blue and white and clear marbles that I like to get out every once in a while. And, and sometimes at Brown Bag and Bible. Um, at 12 o'clock on Wednesdays and then other small groups within the church uh, will take a time to use these marbles too to pray for each other. Now how in the world can you pray for each other using marbles? What I do is I either, I go either way. I either take them out of the container and pray for someone or something and lay it out on the table or as I've done this morning I will lay the marbles out ahead of time, a certain amount of marbles, so that I am not done praying until I'm done with the marbles. So it helps me to think of other ways that I can pray and other people with, within reach um, in relationships and connectedness and, and, and uh, Things that are going on in this world that are related to the people that I'm praying for, it reminds me of the very next step along the way of what to pray for. I pray for you this morning, and uh, I have been counting my blessings, as I said, and I encourage you to pray for one another in this Advent season. Um, we're coming up on a season um, before Christmas. So it's a colder season um, and it is a season that is full of memories and often there are people who are in transition who are grieving during this time that we we pray for because they're full full of memories and you know um, I always say that grief knows no time span and often we are reminded of loved ones um, from years and years ago at Christmas for some reason, and December for some reason, uh, reminds us of uh, past times and, and reminds us of how much we miss those folks. So please keep each other in prayer during this time. The Advent is also a time of watching and waiting and keeping our heads up and looking, looking for that star as as the, the folks of old were told to do, and the prophets told, told the folks of old. And Jesus, in the gospel scripture this week, tells us to lift up our heads, our redemption is near. And may you, may you always be mindful of those marbles in your life. May you always be reminded of those ways in which God is working in your life. May you always be watchful and hopeful and prayerful that your redemption is drawing nigh. God loves you, and so do I. Peace to you.